our assembly candidates and let them say a few words. Um, Roberta Carbonetz and I go back to the early 1990s, I hate to say. <laughs> it's been a long time, but we have known each other for a very long time, and I consider her to be a, a very dear person, and I'm really delighted to be able to support her this year. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about Roberta because she has been very active in Somerville all these years and not necessarily known to other people outside of that area. Um, Roberta was a three-term councilwoman and actually served as the and, and served two years as the council president in Somerville. She's the director of operations for a nonprofit tra transportation management firm. Um, she is the member of the of the board of trustees and friends of the Somerville Public Library. And uh, in 2003, she was Somerville's uh, Citizen of the Year. She has a BA, BA from Lehigh University, and she is probably one of the most competent people I know. So I wish you would put your hands together and give a welcome, warm welcome to Roberta. Karen, Karen, thank you. Thank you so much. I have as much regard for Karen as she does for me. I, you know, I feel like Evita up here. <laughs> um, before I left my... Before I left my, pardon me? No, you don't want that. I want to win some votes. Uh, before I left my office today, my boss said, remember the three B's, be bright, be brief, be gone. And I'm going to do that tonight. Well, I'll be brief and I'll be gone. I'll leave it to you to decide if I've been bright or not. I ran into Ted Kennedy once. Actually, Ted Kennedy ran into me, I mean literally. It was in 1972 and I was an intern in Washington and as many of us did, we'd wander over to Ted Kennedy's office during the day hoping to get a glimpse of him. And I was in his outer office in the reception area and out of the corner of my eye, I, you know, you see this movement coming toward you and with, with the, I was hit with the force of a football player and these arms were on my shoulders to steady me and as quickly as it happened, and before, thankfully, I could offer some sort of retort, I realized it was Senator Kennedy, and I was in his way. So that's my Ted Kennedy story. It, it has been a bad week for Democrats. It's been a sad week for Democrats. And if you're like me, who gets a little weepy and very sentimental, you can feel inside yourself all this emotion building to a crescendo that's just going to just going to explode at Arlington Cemetery on Saturday. In the coming weeks, we're going to reflect upon Ted Kennedy's career and his accomplishments. We're going to think about the millions of people his legislation has helped, and we are going to marvel at his skill at negotiating and the art of the deal and bipartisanship. And we will think at some point it will hit each and every one of us that there will be very few political leaders, ourselves included, who will ever attain half of what he has achieved. And so as we go door to door, as we talk to our constituents, and when we are elected, and when we are serving, and when we are governing, let us at least resolve to try. Thank you very much. message wherever you stand I'm calling every woman I'm calling every man we're the generation we can't afford to wait the future started yesterday and we're already late we've been looking for a song to sing we search for a melody we search for someone to lead We've been looking for the world to change.